So the UFC is back in Vegas, but not the way you guys might necessarily think it is. Let's talk a little bit more about that. Is the Ace of Vegas, the Ace of Vegas. Hey there, Spinners and Sharks, Ace of Vegas here, and I hope you're doing well. So, not sure if you guys have been keeping up with the news, but since Labor Day, there's been a little bit of an outbreak in some uh, hardcore UFC action. And no, I'm not talking about uh, Chuck Liddell. Uh, let's go ahead and check out a couple clips here. So, apparently, there have been incidents like this. Oh, how we gas this, bro? Oh. Oh. And like this. <laughs> And even a couple of these <laughs> popping up on the Vegas Strip lately. And, you know, it's tough to tell why that's been happening, but I've been getting questions about, hey, were you down there? Did you see that fight? Um, no, I wasn't. I've actually been home. I'm, I'm in the garden right now. So obviously, I'm not there for those. And also, why is that happening? And I've been reading a lot of Reddit comments and a lot of comments down there about why it's happening, and frankly, I don't think it's true, just to be perfectly honest with you. I think there are a couple factors, so let's go ahead and uh, break these down a little bit here. So, a lot of the fights that have been going on have been in a couple properties. You had some that broke out in front of the Flamingo, uh, like this example over here. Oh, how we gas this, bro? And there was also one that happened at the Encore. See, now I'm not quite as familiar with a couple of them that broke out at the Flamingo. I know that there were two major ones I saw happen. Um, and what had happened, one of them was an altercation about money. And then another one just seemed to be a big group altercation. I think there were as many as six or seven people involved with it. And it got, it got pretty graphic. Like, I'll put the links to the original videos if you guys really want to see them in the uh, description box below, but be warned, they get kind of graphic. I think there is some, uh, some pretty intense violence, and I think even some partial nudity in one of those too, so be very, very, you know, that's it's not safe for work, so if you're going to do it, do it in the privacy of your own home, and take a look, see for yourself, decide uh, how you feel about it yourself. So... That's happening, and uh, the one at the wind was a really big one. From what I understand, there were some exotic dancers there that had invited a lot of people to come down and see them. We're having a stripper party. I'm like, can you give me like a hundred, and I'm not gonna chase after those ones. We're gonna do it for me. Okay. <laughs> uh, at the wind, which is like, hey, cool. You know, they weren't actually stripping there. They weren't actually dancing there. But what was happening was they were having a little party there, and from what I understand, uh, one guy ended up making it rain on them. So that's when you take uh, that's when you take a lot of bills and you just kind of, uh, you know, rain it over the dancer, that sort of thing. That's what they call making it rain. So it can be, hun you know, tens, hundreds, whatever. That sort of thing happened. Uh, so the, the party was getting kind of hype there. Uh, and it was just kind of on the casino floor. People were getting drunk. People were having fun. That's what you're supposed to do when you're in the casino. You're supposed to get a, you're supposed to enjoy your libations. Uh, not, I mean, it's a tribute to Dionysus, you know what I mean? The uh, Dionysus being the uh, Greek god of wine, music, and uh, fertility, aka, you know, sex, drugs, and rock and roll. It's a party, man! That's what you do! That's what it is! So, you know, you enjoy your libations, uh, you know, you play some games, you enjoy some good food, rock out to some good tunes, that's what you're supposed to do. And they frankly overdid it. Uh, and it turned into kind of an altercation. One guy, uh, they ended up getting kind of shuffled out there, uh, the, the whole party did. Um, one guy said something to another guy, and then, you know, fists started flying right there. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna jab with my, with my left hand here, because that's where my beer is, and that, that's a party foul. That's something that you should be fined over to saying. So, you have all this violence on the strip, and with that, with the scooters and all that, and the fact that a lot of things aren't open, your buffets aren't open, you aren't getting your shows uh, right now, you can't go to the nightclubs, that sort of thing right there. A lot of people are asking, is it worth it to go to Vegas right now? And I'm going to say it's up to you. I've already said my piece on this. I think hardcore Vegas visitors are going to go no matter what. And I think super casuals right now should probably hold off. I think first-time visitors should probably hold off um, if they want the full Vegas experience. But this is really more for Vegas veterans that are kind of in the middle, like moderate Vegas veterans if you were willing to go right now. Good news is a lot of the rates are cheap. And uh, that seems to be an explanation as to why all this is happening. So 
the theory in a lot of Facebook and Reddit threads is that you're getting some very trashy people because the rates are so low. Meaning that if you don't have a lot of money, you're a bad person or you're just not a high enough quality person that doesn't know how to interact with society. And I'll tell you what, that's false. I mean, you know, I, I, you know, the wife and I would do fine, but you know, she, she's a teacher. I mean, I work a standard corporate job. We're not loaded or anything like that. I definitely wouldn't call myself an affluent individual. So I'm going to go ahead and say, yeah, I don't got a lot of cash. I definitely uh, hit the coupons. And I'd say a lot of people on this channel, too, that's part of the reason a lot of people come through is because they like to, you know, they're down to clip the coupons a little bit. They're looking to get some really good deals, or if nothing else, they really want to take advantage of the comps um, and save themselves a little money. Because I think that's a universal thing that everybody likes to do. They like to save some money, and I think that's a good thing. Nothing wrong with that. So with all that out of the way, I'm going to say, no, I don't think the ultra-low prices have done that. Um, now, fact of the matter is, there's just not a lot to do. So there are a lot of people that are down there. They may or may not be able to get into some places. Because fact of the matter is, that was a weekend. And on the low end, that was a $200 a night sort of thing. I don't think these were hotel guests that were starting big fights. They're not for $200 a night. I don't think that's exactly what was happening. Maybe at Flamingo, but the Flamingo's already kind of a lower end property. It's definitely less expensive. I don't think it has anything to do with money. I think it had to do with just who these people were. And, you know, it's not a... I don't think it's really that, that type of class thing. I mean, you know, just just because a certain you know a person looks a certain way doesn't mean they're going to act a certain way, you know, just because you have braids and, uh, and a tattoo. I don't think that you're going to be a troublemaker. I mean, granted, I have braids, and I like to make trouble for you guys. Uh, Cinnamon has a tattoo. She likes to make <laughs> trouble. She has a lot of tattoos, and she likes to make trouble for you guys, but those are completely irrelevant things, just so you guys know. Uh, I mean, you know, we, we've seen those types of crowds before. I've seen those types of crowds before here in Denver. They're everywhere. Um, I bet you Anthony from Seeking Vegas Sunrise, he knows all about club beta and club bash. I'm, I'm sure you know about it, brother. Let me know, man. Uh, but, you know, he, he's seen that place get shut down on a weekend because there was a bar fight there. I've seen bar fights happen. And you know what? Even the chief of police and Anthony Curtis, um, not, he's not the chief of police, but he's uh, he's the guy that does uh, Las Vegas Advisor, professional blackjack player and all that. He's been watching this stuff happen for years. He even said it on Las Vegas Advisor. He's been seeing it for years because it was a Labor Day weekend. It was hot out. People had a lot of these. And... You know, they just disagreed, so there were fights. It's not the first time a bar fight has broken out on a weekend, on a holiday weekend. Ooh, yeah, there was a bar fight in Vegas on a holiday weekend. Also, the sun is incredibly hot. What's new? There's nothing new there. And I, I think it's probably getting publicized a lot more now because there's nothing else to do in Vegas. There are no concerts. There are no shows. There are no buffets. The restaurants are at 50% occupancy. The bars are closed. Uh, you know, a, a lot of the attractions are closed. You can't go anywhere. You can't do a lot of stuff there. People aren't, uh, you know, people aren't meeting. People aren't being as sociable. 50% occupancy. A lot of the properties are closed. People aren't getting their space. So I think it could have happened anywhere, frankly. I don't think that has anything to do with the safety there. Also, the locations were pretty irrelevant. It's Flamingo to win. Those are pretty dead opposites right there. That's the, you know, that's like the Taj Mahal versus your local dive bar over there. There were still bar fights on each side. So no, I don't think it has anything to do with that either. And, you know, the scooter thing's been going on for so long now. I know they've had those roving scooter gangs running around and zipping around in the on the Rascal scooters because they're available for rent. And, you know, at one point or another, you, you just got to ask yourself, is this person disabled? Do they really need the scooter? Why are we renting this to this person? It's because we're broke. It's because we're broke. That's what's happening. And it's uh, it's kind of rough to watch, I got to admit. Now, I don't think this presents a major safety concern. As long as you follow some basic rules, you want to make sure that you're uh, hanging out with the right people. So people that you know people you're familiar with uh, might not be a good time to start making new friends right now unless you're in a really chill position or uh, you get a get a good vibe for somebody so that's one thing another thing is uh, I mean I wasn't seeing a lot of robberies it was a lot of violence it wasn't a lot of robbery so you know definitely follow standard precautions there don't bring down anything that you're not willing to lose so on and so forth that sort of thing only bring the bare necessities with you and uh, you know cut, maybe cut down on the drinks there you know if uh, 
you're about an hour in. You've had three hop storms there. Uh, just tell the tell the cocktail waitress, you know, maybe I'll just do a lemonade instead for this round over here. I'm going to keep playing, but maybe just go ahead and bring a lemonade for the table. There's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with slowing down. Uh, two cent from Hogan, two cent. She asks for sugar-free Red Bulls. Totally cool. And you know what happens? They bring her sugar-free Red Bulls because that's their job and they're cool and she's not being a jackass about it because she's awesome. And, you know, your cocktail server will also be awesome to you. If you're awesome, you know, be excellent to each other is kind of what the point of this is. If you want to avoid this and this and this be excellent to each other be aware of who you're around, and I'd say, hey, maybe avoid holiday weekends. That's where we're at at this point. I don't think there's anything major that's changed in Vegas. Um, the police presence is definitely up this last week. Uh, probably as a result of these actions here, the win has started a lawsuit against the uh, the party of 20 or 12 or so. I don't know. It's, it keeps fluctuating between 12 and 20 in these reports here, just so you know. If you're worried about it, moderate Vegas visitor. Put off your trip right there, vote with your wallet if you don't feel safe, you know, and they see the drops in attendance. Vegas will know, okay, we got to do something else. Maybe we'll go ahead and offer you something else there too. Let's go ahead and step up security, so on and so forth. But vote with your wallet, vote with your foot, um, you know, maybe send out an email like, hey, is this a good place to be right now? And go from there. That's my recommendations. I'm still booked for October. I'm still booked for Circa. I'm ready for both openings. Park MGM's open and smoke free right now. So maybe that might be a better crowd there. Just be very cognizant of where you're at and who you're with, that sort of thing there. And that's my best tip for safety and to avoid getting involved in a UFC bro. All right, that's been a Shark. So that's all the time we have for today's video. If you enjoyed today's content and found it informative, I'd appreciate a like and consider subscribing if you haven't already. Next time, what I think we're going to go ahead and do is I think we're going to do a little bit of, we're going to do a little throwback, actually. Uh, I was going through some old footage and realized I hadn't done a trip report for last year's uh, trip to Blackhawk, and I really wanted to do that. So we'll go ahead and do that, and then you guys can check that out. Saturday, we'll go ahead and do a little something about my biggest power leveling. But until next time, this is Ace of Vegas signing out. I'm wishing you all strong hands, and of course, happy spinning, you guys. Viva, 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 Viva,